That fabric scared me shitless. I was thinking, let's eat chocolate in the morning. We are adults. <laughs> <laughs> Legit been eating three Twix the past two days. <gasps> oh, but Twix is so good. Damn it, Fabio. Now I want chocolate. All right, we're going to take chocolate break real quick. This is all Fabio's fault. You can yell at him for making me eat chocolate. I will be right back. You know, we didn't do Easter eggs this year, but you know what I got instead? He's looking a little worse for wear. His, his, his skull collapsed. <laughs> But, oh, they were so sweet. They got me a chocolate stormtrooper instead. I don't know. You can't really... You can see how, how he used to look, but I, I smashed his skull in. So now he's very death trooper-ish, you know? I took the top of his head off, nibbled away at his brains a little bit. See, there's his eye. Mmm, <laughs> chocolate brag. Mmm, let's just try that. Okie dokie. What is that screaming sound? Oh, it's a cliff racer. Of course it is. Also, I'm stuck. Oh my gosh! Yes! Excellent! Good job, horse. It's a PvP skill. Certainly poorly. Perhaps you will do better. Oh, that's new dialogue! <laughs> Did he now? Yep. Sorry about that. You should have found yourself a better necromancer. Ooh. No! Talk to me! You bastard! Don't do this to me! Oh, heavy sack. Naril! Pleasure doing business with ye. What's that distinctive bottle I see peeking from your pack? Is that a distinctive bottle, or are you just happy to see me? Now the Drez have got their skirts in a twist. Oh, please save us big strong Nords! <laughs> <laughs> Fancy lads, the lot of them. They think Nords only exist to save Elven asses. <laughs> We fight drunk. Oh God! A keg of fine, strong mead from Riften <laughs> right here. Pour yourself a mug and get to it. Unless you're too fancy, of course. Bitch! Down up there, rolling up his massive sleeves and tying them around his shoulders. Oh my gosh! You know what? This guy. This. What's your name? Hralgar Stonecrush might have just redeemed all Nord voice acting. I hear dark elves are milk drinkers. Too bad. I bet a good mead would loosen your back ends enough for you to pull the sticks out of them. <laughs> Fight me, or are you too drunk to dodge a punch? <laughs> you could only beat me if I was blind, stinking sober, and I'm not. <laughs> Stop! I need more mead. <laughs> okay. Dark elves are milk drinkers. All right, care to brawl? You look as stringy as a wet Khajiit, and you smell twice as bad. <laughs> You're clever, you are. Let's see how well you take a blow. Oh my God, stringy as a this wet Khajiit, and smell twice as bad. I need to remember that one. It'll make me breathe. There are spores in the air. Huge clouds of them. Can't you see them? Yes! We live in Morrowind! Sharp of eye and tongue is he. Long is his reach. Longer is his spear. Mm. How can this question be on the lips of anyone in Morrowind? We don't need to know any more than about... Yeah, you seem surprised, uh, I asked. The sermons of Vivek are beside every bed. Like the Karma Vivek's Sutra. Vivek's <laughs> are sighed from every maiden's lips. All know Vivek. For Vivek would have it so. I just, I just whenever, whenever you're talking about Vivek, it it always sounds so dirty. I dread asking this, but what of Lord Vivek? His spear is long. <laughs> uh, he said not to worry about your true concern that he is not what he once was. Ha! <laughs> yes, I should have known. Vivek is the most subtle of the three. He is not subtle. It's true. I've been counseling a Dunma who questions his faith. Oh god, I'm about to die and do something stupid by rolling off the top of this thing, but... <gasps> oh god! Ah, god, oh, fuck! <sighs> Did you hear that crunch? <gasps> oh, that sounded <laughs> so painful! You could hear his spine impact. <laughs> I feel <so> good. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! I've fallen and died a lot of times, but I've never this heard Adana's hip bones go up into his pelvis like that before. Oh. 